My name is Big Kasirajan. I'm a cardiac surgeon here at BCU, and I'm also the chair of surgery. And one of my areas of expertise in cardiac surgery is treatment of irregular heart rhythms, primarily atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation refers to a very common condition that happens in patients, particularly as they get older. The first thing that patients notice is sometimes as they get more fatigued, some patients can complain of fluttering in their chest or feeling of irregular heartbeats, an uncomfortable sensation. And it, what it refers to is a very rapid and non-coordinated contraction of the upper chambers of the heart. And that leads to a very irregular heart rate. And that's what patients feel, the fluttering. And the shortness of breath is primarily related to the heart not being able to pump as effectively. So the first thing, when if you think you have AFib or you have any concerns about it, particularly because you may have had symptoms that are similar to other family members that may have had it, is to seek help from your doctor. If the symptoms are very severe, obviously patients will have to go to the emergency room and need to be seen right away. And a very small percentage of patients that, that happens. The therapy needs to be tailored to the patient, but requires the patient to work closely with the healthcare provider. The most important risk factors for AFib that we know about, other than unknown genetic predispositions, is the risk of high blood pressure. So obviously it's very important to make sure your blood pressure is well controlled. Obesity can also predispose to atrial fibrillation. So a good diet, optimal weight management is important. Other than that, to treat the AFib per se, to convert it back to a normal rhythm, it can be done with drugs, which is often the first line of therapy. Then some patients get referred for surgery. And that's where my role comes in. So I'm a heart surgeon, I perform heart surgery. But I work very closely with our colleagues in ultrophysiology. So they see all the patients first, they're worked up, and if they feel appropriate, they get referred to us for joint discussion and management of those patients with, uh, with surgery. I think the close collaboration between physicians uh, and working with the families of the patients is, I think, what makes us really stand out. Because we can then tailor the therapy to the patient and not just based on what we do.